Greetings everybody, it's the Doctor. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online Free to Play 2015. In the last video where we left off, our new character, Rami Summers here, got to Lieutenant Commander. We did the whole uh, upgrade promotion and everything, except, except, I totally forgot to upgrade her uniform as well. So, customized clothing, tailor, it is time that she now gets a uniform, uh, where is it at, uh, rank, lieutenant commander. There's a lieutenant junior grade, I didn't know that existed. Is that a thing? Huh, interesting. Well, she is no longer a lieutenant junior grade or a lieutenant, she is now in fact a lieutenant commander. That's right. Lieutenant Commander, we get the extra pip. We are awesome. So let's purchase that. And as you see, we'll zoom in here. Lighting is kind of bad, but there you go. She's got her pips. She is all pip, pipped and ready to go. Pip, pip, cheerioed and all that jazz. So there you go. Uh, I am excited now. We finally got her completely fully upgraded. Lieutenant Commander, we got our new ship in the last video. It's an escort going with a hybrid of beams and cannons at this time simply because I don't have a lot of stuff. But we're ready to go with the next mission. So what is that? That would be research or rescue. Which I hit the wrong button on. Research or rescue. Hail. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation Science Station in the Kasei system because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that compensates for Metreon isotopes prevalent in the system. It may be that the communications array is in need of repair. Please make the necessary repairs to the communication array and re-establish contact with the Science Station and we will get all kinds of goodies including an improved phaser beam array which I will definitely use on this ship. So we get to go fix a communication array. How starfleet -y of us. Beam up. I'm excited to try this ship in combat. I, I really am. I have a good feeling about it. Even if it is just the second level ship you get in the game. <laughs> I got a good feeling about it. I think it's going to be pretty slick. It looks really good. I like the looks of it. Kasei system is way down here. Why, you are far away. Now that uh, sector space is bigger, they combined all the sectors basically into one big map. Um, things are far away. And as you can see, we are going so slow. We're moving at a snail's pace. What is our warp speed? 5.62 is our warp speed. So this is going to take quite a while. Yes, I can transwarp there. That will cost precious, precious energy credits, which I don't have enough of anyway. So per usual, I will just go ahead and pause the video here and magically time jump <laughs> to the uh, system. So stand by. And welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the Kasei 2 system. Let's pat uh, not patrol it. I want to do the mission. Do I have to patrol it to do the mission? Go to the Kasei solar system? I guess so. Ah, sir, I am detecting Gorn ships in range of the communications array. I recommend we deal with them before we assess the damage to the array. Defeat the Gorn ships. I love it. But before we go into combat, something I forgot to do, we've got to rename our ship. Oh, and I can't. Cannot change your current ship's name in space. Well, darn it. When I get to the ground, then, we will change the name of our ship. I've got a, a scheme in mind I'll uh, tell you about. But let's go into battle right now. I got a good feeling about this. Remember, we're going to use all our features. Attack Pattern Alpha 2, it's been upgraded now. As we've leveled up, it is now Alpha 2. And I've got other goodies here, all kinds of nice powers. Tactical Team now, I'm going to use. 
which will auto balance my shields that are being fired on, auto balance to whatever side is being fired on, which I absolutely love. So, yep, here we go. Getting closer, getting closer. I don't want to go to full impulse, my power will go down. So we're close enough now where we're almost there. And here we are. Warning. Look at that. Target shield One failed. shot, and they're like half dead. Now they're fully dead. Wow. This ship for the win. Target shield has failed. That was really sweet. Yeah, I'm liking this ship. This is a nice escort right here. Or it's a nice build of one, at least. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander, readings are showing that the communications array has been heavily damaged by the Gorn. At this range, we should be able to contact the research station on Kasei 2. However, the station is not responding to hails, and our scans are detecting signs of multiple fires on the station. Sir, the researchers may be in trouble. Recommend we send an away team to the surface. Excellent. So let's see if I can change my ship name. Actually, this scientist is going to come here. Help us, please. Uh, hold on just a second, guy. Let's go to my ship here and see if I can change the name. That's more important than saving you right now. So I've got this idea in mind that as we level up through each rank, I will rename my ship to something that resembles a sci-fi sci either TV show or a movie or something uh, iconic uh, out there, some good uh, you know, TV shows. So I used Andromeda for Lieutenant, so I think it's time now, even though this ship is nothing like this ship I'm about to name it, um, it is a good starting ship to, to start off with here, and of course, as we go to the next grade, I'll change it to another sci-fi ship name out there. Uh, this time, let's go for Moya. This is going to be a Farscape ship, <laughs> I guess. Just for the time being. Now, when we get to Commander, I'll change it again to a different sci-fi series, and then Captain, a different sci-fi series, and on and on. So that'll be our theme, is that our ship will be a cool sci-fi series ship name. Okay. The Gorn, they just stormed in and started shooting. Tell us what happened. The first sign of trouble was when we lost contact with the communications array. The Gorn beamed in and started shooting. They destroyed our computer core and took thousands of artifacts that we've spent years collecting. Then, as if destroying decades of archaeological research weren't enough, they started setting fires. Those darn Gorn and setting fires. Um, what are you researching here? Captain Jean-Luc Picard and the crew of the USS Stargazer, well that was a long time ago, discovered ruins from an unknown civilization here almost 60 years ago. The Federation Science Council has been researching this site ever since. It's a fascinating find. There are more than 40 kilometers of catacombs under this facility. We've barely managed to explore a quarter of what we think is here. Interesting. Interesting. Two years ago, we found a star chart in the catacombs that indicates that this civilization had contact with interstellar travelers more than 15,000 years ago. The chart led us to another site at SA4 where we found the most extraordinary artifacts. If we're correct, the race that once lived here may have been an advanced proto-reptilian race. I wonder what that could be or who that could be. Why would the Gorn attack here? The Gorn have extremely long memories, Lieutenant Commander. Thousands of years ago, the Gorn he uh, hegemony ruled this entire sector. In their minds, that means these planets are still theirs. The alliance with the Klingons has inspired the Gorn to start rebuilding their empire. Every planet here from Cestus III is in danger. Ooh, I see. Did everyone escape the fire? Not everyone. 
There are several members of our team still unaccounted for. Please, you must find them. The Born destroyed our automated fire suppression system in the initial attack. You will find fire suppression devices on the walls that you can use to fight the fires. You'll be safe on the Moya. <laughs> I like how it already has my ship name in there. I'll find your team. Let's scan a trionium gas while we're here. Okay, I need to get a fire suppression device, which would be this thing on the wall. I need to equip it. Of course, this is teaching me how to equip things. Thank you very much. Equip a device. And, um... I have a button for it, so we're all good. Now I can put out fires. That is after the, the uh, timer on this cools down. Now there used to be an accolade in this mission where if you killed all the fires, you get an accolade. So I'm gonna try it and see if it still exists. Because they updated this mission quite a bit. It's different from what it used to be. Okay, that, that, and kill everything. Look at that. Look how powerful I am. Wasn't that pretty sweet? I mean, they didn't have a chance. That was nice. Nice and smooth. I like those kinds of takedowns. That was easy. I'm sure it's going to get harder. See, my things are on cooldown now, so now I have to wait. That worked well. Nice. So much for the war. Beam scientist out. Put out fires. Oh, well, it does say Extinguish Fire 6, so maybe it does have that accolade now. It's actually counting them. It never used to count them originally. You just had to do it, and there was no counter for it. Yeah, they really changed up this map. They simplified it quite a bit. Okay, there's a big one. He's a hot ch He takes quite a bit of firepower to bring down for sure. And then he likes to rip up the ground and throw it at me. Yep. He was tougher, but not too bad. Let's take a particle. There used to be a door here on this side to another room, and in that room you had to, uh, you had to save somebody and kill fires, destroy fires. They completely removed that. So I did six of the fires, but I didn't get the accolade, so let's see if removing all of them gets us that accolade. There's just so many patches of fires. Those Gorn. What were they thinking? Here's some loot we can take. Sell for energy credits. There is the last 
scientist, but before I save her, let's get all these fires. One more over here. Let's see if this does it. And it does. Fire suppressor. So that accolade's still there. Excellent. All right, beam the scientist out. All right, Captain, the researchers were rescued from Kasei 2. Say, there is another team at the dig site on Kasei 4. I attempted to contact the dig site team to verify that they are safe, but I'm not receiving a, re receiving a response. Recommend we check it out. All right, now we're going to another planet. I guess I should also upgrade the uniforms of my bridge officers. I forgot that they're wearing, wearing the uh, Odyssey uniform as well. Sir, attempting to establish a communication link. Captain, Gorn ships detected. Excellent. Give me something to fire at. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Not a problem, that was fun. Uh, yeah, we will beam down in a second. I have a Verderon particle to scan. Now we can beam down. Very green, very, very green. Lots of grass. Captain, there are three shield generators maintaining a field around the central building. If there are any members of the archaeological team in this area, that's probably where they are being held. If we disable the shield generators, we should be able to get a lock on the archaeologists. So there are three towers to take out, and they all lead to that place. So we need to go to each tower. Okay, here we go. Look, there's a particle floating in the air. Very swampy, grassy planet. Easy enough. Looks like we've got Gorns to deal with. Gorns on the cob. So we're going to do, when we get close to them, that and that. Just have to get, to get that in, but that's okay. There we go. Shut down shield generate four. You think the other Gorn would notice that these things are going down, you know, and maybe send people to help? Okay, let's take out the next one, which is way over there. They've also changed up this map. There used to be Gorn everywhere on this map. I mean, like, you couldn't walk five feet without running into another Gorn. Now it seems they've put them just on the tower, so they've simplified this a little bit as well. Well, I'm fine with that. I like space combat anyway. I'm sure most people in this game prefer the space combat, but the ground combat can be fun if you if you gear yourself up correctly. If you do it right, ground can be fun. Bring that down. All right, one more, and it's over there. We're gonna have to keep going around in circles. I'm trying to stay away from the middle part because I know that there are going around that area.
Okay, here we go. Again, we will highlight, we scan, do a rally cry, and take everybody out. Just like that. Good. Now we can defeat the Gorn Captain. Probably should have saved Rally Cry for that, because now I have a minute and a half cooldown left. Oh, well, I still have target optics. Well, actually, I don't. Let's let that cool down. I'm going to let this finish. Definitely want to use my target optics here. We're going up against the Captain, the Gorn Captain, so this is going to be uh, a tougher fight. I want to make sure my I can use my powers. There we go. Oh, scan remains. Oh. He's dead, Captain. These Gorn, there are Gorn claw marks, sir. The other hostages are in great danger. Wow, claw marks. Accolade, cleaning up their mess. I did not know that was there. Oh, I do. Okay, I want to make sure I scan the Captain with the target optics for sure. And he's way on the other side over there. So I'm gonna kind of pop around here and make sure that Enemy I can targets on get him in my thingy. There we go. Now we can take out people inside him. The Rangers here. Get them out of the way. Now we can focus on him. Have a grenade. I hear they're good for your health. If you want your health to be terrible. One to beam up. No, uh, I don't want to beam up just yet. I got things open here. Okay, now you can beam me up. Captain, they must have captured the scientists who are working at the dig site. There's no sign of them here. We're too late. Sir, the Moya has detected Gorn starships approaching from the far side of the planet. If they kidnap the archaeologists, they should be aboard those ships. Moya is locked onto your signal and can beam you directly to the bridge. Okay. Boy, she's enthusiastic, huh? You are meddling in affairs you do not understand, Lieutenant Commander. This system was the home of our ancestors. It belongs to the Gorn by ties of blood and conquest. We will not allow grave robbers and thieves to desecrate hallowed ground without punishment. Prepare for death. Uh-oh. I don't think the Gorn are too happy. Something tells me. But then, where are they? Hello, Mr. Gorn. Where are you? You're way up there. What are you doing up there? Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. Oh wow, I'm taking him down fast. Um, okay, beam hostages on board. I guess he decided to stop fighting for five seconds to let me beam my hostages on board. Oh, mighty nice of him. Sir, we've locked onto the hostages, ready to beam them directly on my command. The researchers have asked that we leave them here, sir. They say they want to do what they can to recover their research and assess the damage to the ruins. Starfleet will be sending a team to a system. We can leave the system whenever you're ready. Well, that was it. I wanted to destroy the Gorn ship, but I guess we leave it to be. There we go. Researcher rescue in the bag. Uh, let's turn it in and see what rewards we get. If the archaeological sites in the Kasei system really are from a proto-Gorn culture, we will have to weigh carefully the knowledge we gain versus the Gorn claim to their own history. The Federation Science Council has a lot to consider. I don't know, it's kind of simple, right? Do we, as Starfleet, really go in and desecrate graves and, and things like that of old civilizations so that we can study them? I mean, I guess? Okay, uh, let's take everything here. 
Now we have a better phaser. We have a Mark IV phaser beam with an accuracy modifier, so our DPS will instantly be higher. And uh, instead of crit D, we're going to have an accuracy modifier, so plus 10% accuracy instead of critical severity. That's all right. It's Mark IV, and that's a big upgrade for Mark II, so we will take it. Now we have better better weapon power already, just, just like that. Uh, this phaser stun pistol I will pass on. I don't need it. Nobody needs it. We'll sell it for energy credits. We'll sell all this other loot for energy credits as well. And then skill points we just earned from that. We can start putting them in another column, another tier here. Lieutenant Commander is now opened up to us. And in that tier, the first two things I'm going to put in is Starship Energy Weapons and then Starship Projectile Weapons. So I already know where that's going to go. And also we're going to continue bumping grenades up here on ground as well. Make our grenades better. So yeah, like I said, uh, we'll start putting into Starship Energy Weapons first. And then after Energy Weapons, we'll go to Projectile Weapons. That's going to help our weapon damage on our ship. So perfect. Excellent. Okay, everybody, that was Research and Rescue. Hope you all enjoyed that mission. Um, it was definitely interesting. Got to fight some Gorn. Uh, the next one we'll play is the Kuvuk Ma. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next.